facts. All right. Since President Biden has been in office, there have been more than 8 million encounters. That's what they call migrants um, interacting with uh, Homeland Security. OK, more than 8 million. That does not include gotaways or visa overstays. So the total is more than 11 million foreign nationals sieging the United States. OK, and by the end of his term, uh, that'll probably be 12 million. Maybe more. This has cost us about a half trillion dollars, the American taxpayer, to deal with this open border stuff. Now, you see uh, above that Trump in his four years had 2.5 million encounters as opposed to um, probably 10 million encounters for Biden. That's what the open border does. The average uh, family, this is a very important stat, um, in Trump's last year in office, paid 6500 bucks in monthly expenses. All right? Now that number has risen to about 9000 probably more, because we don't have the 23 stats in. So from 6500 family of four, now, I'm going to I'm going to call it ninety five hundred family of four, three thousand dollars coming out of your wallet since Biden has been elected. And it's going to go higher because the stats lag. All right. This is a catastrophe for working people because their salaries have not kept pace. And they're paying more and more and more. And, more. and that doesn't count highest prices ever for homes. Highest priced ever for car insurance and uh, house insurance, and on and on and on and on. And working places. Get, I saw Bernie Sanders on CNN. And he, oh, working people under Biden. You just, again, I'm not going to call Senator Sanders a liar because he may not be smart enough to understand how the working American is getting killed under Biden. Really, Sanders may not be smart enough to understand that. The Bilge, B-I-L-G-E, he puts out there. Okay, the spending on Ukraine, which would not have happened if Trump had been president, in my opinion, is now uh, $200 billion. That's another thing, I need $200 billion. Out. You add to that to the $500 billion to deal with the foreign nationals, <laughs> you know, and abortions under Trump. 2.5 million in four years under Biden, 3 million, 2.9 in 3.5 years, going to hit more than uh, more than uh, 4 million. OK, one more stat here that that's important. So when you have an open border, you have drug ODs and three years under Trump. We had 200,000 drug ODs, approximately. Three years under Biden, 326,000. Now, that shows you that the open border leads to death, the death of Americans, because the narcotics come in, flood in, because the border is easily accessible to the drug cartels in Mexico. And then you have these people going out telling you speaking to the American public on television. I don't know, Biden's great. He's the greatest president of my lifetime. Now, when you hear that, you should file it in your mind. Who is saying that? So this is offensive to me. I mean, if you're not smart enough to understand what a bad president Joe Biden has been, you shouldn't vote at all. I pity you. All right. So uh